All right, everybody. So uh, today for the tech tip, one of the bigger things I've got here, I didn't get done because I have so much time only to get this ready and I've run out of time, but I'm getting close. And so hopefully next week we'll be able to actually demo this and try it out. But for the tech tips, I have got myself some, these are kind of relay uh, boards or for relays, but they also work perfectly for tubes of these eight pin type. And I'm going to get myself some more that are for the ni uh, nine pin type that will do as well. Uh, but I have all of the pins connected to the way I want them to. I've got uh, so for my cathode and the screen, the screen is pin 3, cathode is 5, they're tied together, and then they run off to here, which connects to my ground resistor, and my. I also have a, a capacitor off to here, which is connecting to the ground of the power supply, the high voltage power supply down here. The high voltage in comes here, that connects over to the plate right here. But also I jumper that with a um, screen resistor here across and around, and then over to this pin, uh, which I think is like, I don't remember, I, I'll have to, let's see, 3, 4. I think that's pin six. So pin six, I have pins seven and two connected into this guy, which will be giving it its um, 6.3 volts. I have a coupling capacitor coming across to here, as well as the wire coming over here. Like I said, this is just a straight voltage, high voltage in 300 volts. Um, and then outside of this coupling capacitor, I come over and connect to the load. This is a, this is an anode resistor that goes to ground, which is going to be, uh, which is actually I think, I think it said that on the data sheet that you should try about 720K and I only have 860K, I think, or something. So I'm giving it a little bit more load than it would want. I don't know if that's a problem, but generally I've seen before, you have some variance in your load as long as you're within a tolerance range. And similarly, the output transform of this guy will reflect that load and needs to be around that range as well. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll have to go double check the data sheet. I might have the wrong value there, but I've been kind of trying to do this myself tonight and carefully getting it all together. I've got it all together. This is a 33K screen resistor that will have an input that I will be bringing in from the outside as well. And then uh, effectively, although as I mentioned, I'm out of time at this point, I do have it ready. And next for our next week's video, I should be able to hopefully crank this up and give us a test. I'll, have the, I'll get the uh, oscilloscope in, connect it up so we can see how well uh, the input signal is versus the output signal. And I'll hook up my input into this guy and then I'll share a common ground with it down to you know the earth here. So then we'll get the input signal into here and it will create our... Um, um, signal in and then hopefully I'll be able to measure effectively with the scope on the other side of this capacitor what my output is like, how much magnification I'm getting, and also how clean it looks. And I'll be able to push that uh, output on the output up a little higher and a little higher until I see if it clips a little bit and if it still seems to be clipping symmetrically or not or you know how it looks and whatnot. I don't have a nice higher end um, signal analyzer which would be even nicer because then I could hook it up and see how much distortion I was getting. Uh, and try and optimize that. But at any rate, you can always kind of go for the design center ratings, make sure it looks good, and then tweak a little if you want to. After you finish the amp, you might say, oh, this sounds good and clean, but I want to push it a little harder, so I'll try and adapt the, you know, adjust a little bit as you go. But uh, oftentimes, all you're trying to do is get it working in the range that you want and make sure it's not clipping too much in the power section and not drawing too much current in the power section. So that is the next step of our design is that we'll, uh, we'll finish up this prototype. And my plan here is to now be able to regularly prototype all these different types of um, tubes and whatnot. I will be getting and setting up the preamp section as well, probably just separate away from the power section a little bit and run any signal wires you know, in and around. But uh, all right, everybody, there you have it. Please uh, tell me what you think. If you like it, please uh, give me the thumbs up. I would really appreciate subscriptions. Subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and you'll start getting uh, alerts whenever I'm posting new content. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night.